Hey, mate. Whoa, f Ah, my shoulder. Ah, I just dislocated my shoulder. Mm. All right. I want to tell you a story on how I managed to dislocate my shoulder taking these photos. So I caught up with my friend Callan at his place, we jumped into his car and we travelled about an hour and 45 minutes south to a beach called Petrol Cove, which is about 10 minutes from Victor Harbour. We got there and everything was great. Pretty much what I had planned for that video was to create a POV beach photography video. Because I had made so many street photography videos, I kind of wanted to change it up a bit and do a beach photography POV structured video. So I chucked all my GoPro stuff on, went down to the beach and I started on the left side of the beach where the rocks weren't as big and they were kind of just... I can't think of the word. You get what I mean. I spent about 20 minutes photographing there, then I decided to move to the right side of the beach where the rocks were a bit bigger, they are a bit more structured and, and there was one specific photo that I wanted to capture which was in amongst those rocks. So I started climbing over the rocks and I didn't realise how slippery the rocks actually were. Oh, that's slippery. This was a stupid idea. When I realised how slippery the rocks were, two things were going through my head. One, I didn't want to break my camera, and two, I didn't want to get wet. I got to the point that I didn't want to risk myself and my camera gear to try and get this one photo. So I went back to the middle of the beach and I just spent maybe about 20 minutes there just photographing around, like doing some reflections and going back to the smaller rocks to see what I could come up with. Half an hour went by and I decided to go back to those rocks and try and get the shot that I wanted to get. Callan was camping out on a bigger rock above me, which was probably the smart thing to do. And I was further down by the water. Pretty much this is what happened. How I was standing, and I'm gonna use my right arm to demonstrate this because I can't use my left shoulder. I was holding onto a rock and I was standing a bit further down. So having your arm up in this position, you've already got a lot of tension on your shoulder. And in my other hand, I had my camera and you could probably imagine how I was standing and you're probably like, why? So when I went to go take the photo, a wave came in. Let me just say, the wave didn't touch me. I flinched when I saw it come in and then I slipped. Whoa, f Ah, my shoulder! Are you kind of imagining what happened? As I slipped, I didn't let go of the rock, which then added a lot more tension onto my left shoulder, and then it kind of just popped out. As I fell down further, I swung my arm around, which then popped it back into place. I will say though, I have dislocated my shoulder in the past probably about four or five times. So the tendons and the ligaments are fairly weak. Then Callan came down, he grabbed my camera, took my camera back up, then he came back and he tried to help me get out of like the gully that I was in because the waves started to come in a lot more and the water started to get a lot deeper. Right. No, no, Tom, come through this way, mate. Come through this way. We've got more, I, I seriously do. Oh, shit. That was lucky. Let's get you to, let's get you some help, mate. Come on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give this video a like. Go down there and hit subscribe. You guys know what to do. With all that said, stay safe, love you all, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.